Wagwan Massive, I'm a Siba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now guys, I am so excited because I'll be sharing with you one of my favorite hydrating, moisturizing conditioners. And so let's get right into it. Now in this bottle, I have fenugreek tuna or what some persons call cactus with a little bit of msm powder and i allow those to soak overnight and then i have i'm going to be trying for the first time hibiscus i've been hearing so much things about hibiscus and so i'm going to be blending that up with my aloe vera so let's get blending so i must confess i love this nice pastel pink that the hibiscus added to my treatment like guys that not look good tell me the truth I think it looks so good and so we're gonna pour now and then I will be combining the the tuna and the fenugreek water with the aloe vera and hibiscus so yes I'm just doing a bit of straining but I must tell you that even though I didn't show this part I eventually strained all the mixture because I didn't want to have the little particles in my hair so Yes, feel free to go ahead if you're going to be trying this just to strain out the particles because like those can be really hard to get out of your hair. So I'm just mixing everything to make sure it combined properly and we have the right consistency. And of course, it was not too runny or too thick just what my hair needed now guys i'm just showing you how dry my hair is you can just look at this hair i've been dousing it with a lot of oil and i don't know sometimes the oil kind of make my hair feels dry and so i'm going to be starting now and of course i don't skip this part of the process i always have some green juice to spray on my scalp so i'm just getting my scalp saturated with this green juice it has leaf of life oregano aloe vera and i'm just getting all of that in on my scalp and i'm really dousing it to ensure that when i put on the conditioner my follicles and cuticles would already be open and ready to soak up all the goodness so yes guys um they kind of have like a tear under my arm i'm never really want it show so i kind of hold on my hand this is actually my dress that i wash my hair in yes you don't want to get anything that you're wearing on a regular basis and here i'm just parting in the middle of my head to see now just to allow you to see what's happening in there um yeah i'm still having a bit of challenge but yes we're getting there the hair is fully moistened with the green juice and so I'm gonna go in now with the treatment. So here is the treatment and what I basically did was just to get it in on every single twist and ensure that I applied it from scalp to tips and then I just twisted up back each section. so a good deep conditioning treatment really family it should add some moisture and it should be nutrient rich to prevent breakage and so you know jamaicans have been using the tuna plant or what some persons call cactus gel for many centuries now so we use it as a natural conditioner whether you're going to leave it in or you're just going to use it after your shampoo because ladies and gentlemen tuna it will revive your dull lifeless hair and give it that shine because it is high in iron and amino acids that are essential for hair growth now some of you will also notice that my hair is a bit shorter and yes i did cut off about two to three inches in some places because as i use these treatments to be honest with you my hair is just falling out a lot and then i get these straggly ends and so the root is full and then the ends they taper and i don't like that i want everything to be chunky and nice right through so yes guys i've been trimming and trimming and trimming so i know that i'm not going to meet my goal of 18 inches is this year but that's okay healthy hair is what we want
so I just turned around so that you could see what the hair looks like in the back and when I was done my hair was left feeling amazingly soft and like to capture all of this moisture I had to just put some Jamaican black castor oil on the end me tell you I absolutely love this treatment I actually didn't get to feel the full effects of the hibiscus but to me I think it added more than it took away because my hair was just extremely soft I can't even explain how soft it was family so I just wanted to share this uh, recipe with you family my deep conditioning treatments you know or conditioning treatments they don't always have to be heavy full with oils and butters it can be very light super light and you're it's still going to make a world of a difference this is the amount of shedding for one week for and this is just from the first teasing I know I will get some more shedding but this is it guys like my shedding has decreased so much from using these treatments so when I'm through I put on my plastic cap I won't wash this out until tomorrow because I want everything to get seeped in and I want to get all the benefits out of this treatment so that's it for this video thank you for watching my family I noticed the growth on the channel and I'm absolutely loving that as as well keep the comments coming i really love to answer and to interact with you guys and so keep the comments coming i love you all and i will see you in the next video bye